ICT NCERT presents audio book introductory macroeconomics page 21 module 1.4 measurement of national income rationale the measurement of national income helps to find out the monetary value of the goods and services produced in an economy within a time period key concepts value added method expenditure method product method gdp deflator 1.4.1 measuring the national income aggregates page 22 it is easy to see that the value of all final goods must equal the expenditures of households and therefore the incomes of households based on this we can measure gross domestic output in three ways 1 product or value added method 2 expenditure method 3 income method product or value added method in this method the sum of value added at each stage of production by all firms is taken this aggregate gives the value of the final output in an economy example 1 A farmer produces wheat and sells it to the households and flour mill. Let us assume that he sells wheat of rupees fifty to the households and rupees two hundred to the flour mill. The flour mill produces flour using wheat purchased from the farmer. The flour mill then sells flour worth rupees two hundred to households and rupees hundred to the baker. The baker makes bread. using the flour he purchased from the flour mill he then sells bread worth rupees 250 to the households using the above information we can find the value added by farmer flour mill and the baker in producing the final good that is bread if we add the value added by each producer we will get the final output value added by farmer is equal to bracket open sales of wheat to households plus sales to flour mill bracket close minus purchases of intermediary goods which is equal to rupees bracket open 200 plus 50 bracket close minus rupees 0 which is equal to rupees 250 value added by flour mill is equal to bracket open sales of flour to households plus sales to baker bracket close minus purchase of intermediary goods that is wheat which is equal to rupees bracket open 200 plus 100 bracket close minus bracket open rupees 200 bracket close which is equal to rupees 100 value added by baker is equal to sales of bread to the households minus purchases of intermediary goods that is flour which is equal to rupees 250 minus rupees 100 which is equal to rupees 150 thus the final output is equal to value added by each producer which is equal to 250 plus 100 plus 150 which is equal to rupees 500 expenditure method this method measures the national income ni as a sum of expenditures incurred by the households business firms government and foreigners page 23 these are usually denoted as consumption spending by the households denoted by capital c investment spending by the firms denoted by capital i subsidies and other expenses by the government denoted by capital g and transactions with foreign countries on sale and purchase of goods and services denoted by capital x minus capital m therefore we have the equation ni equals summation c plus i plus g plus within brackets x minus m income method 
since the sum of expenditures in the economy must equal the incomes received by all the factors of production we can use the sum of incomes received to measure the value of output thus value of output is equal to wages and salaries plus profits plus interest earnings plus land and capital rents 1.4.2 the gdp deflator we know value of goods equals price of goods into quantity of goods value of goods in the year 2014 may be different from that in the year 2015 because of the following reasons 1 the price of goods in the year 2014 is different from the price in 2015 2 quantity of goods produced in the year 2014 is different from the quantity produced in the year 2015 to compare the value of goods in two time periods we are interested in how quantities change over time for this we consider the real gdp when the gdp is calculated using the prices of a certain fixed year it is called the real gdp the year whose prices are used to calculate the real gdp is termed as the base year if the gdp is measured in terms of the current market prices then it is referred to as the nominal gdp consider the example given in table 1.3 which represents the quantity price and value of the output of three items that are apples computers and pencils in the year 2014 and 2015 table 1.3 calculation of gdp value of output for the year 2014 and 2015 the table 1.3 has four major columns these have been further subdivided into eight sub columns the first column lists the serial numbers the second indicates the item the third fourth and fifth columns are for the year 2014 and indicate quantity price for one unit in rupees and value of output the next three columns that is 6 7 8 represent the year 2015 for the values of quantity price for one unit in rupees and value of output let us now proceed row wise the third row indicates the first item apples for the year 2014 the quantity is 20 the price per unit rupees 45 and the value of output 900 for the year 2015 for apples again the quantity is 30 the price per unit is rupees 50 and the value of output is 1500 row 3 indicates the item computers For the year 2014 the quantity is 5 the price per unit in rupees is 1000 the value of output is 5000 For the year 2015 for computers again the quantity is 5 the price per unit is 1200 and the value of output is 6000 If we were to look at row 5 for pencils we would find that the quantity for the year 2014 is 30 the price per unit in rupees is 2 the value of output is 60 for the year 2015 for pencils again the quantity is 50 the price per unit in rupees is 2.5 and the value of output is 125 the final row indicates the sum for the year 2014 the value of output column last row indicates 5960 and for the year 2015 the last row and last column indicate the sum as 7625 nominal gdp for the year 2014 equals open bracket price of apple into quantity of apple 
close bracket plus open bracket price of computer into quantity of computer close bracket plus open bracket price of pencil into quantity of pencil close bracket page 24 and this equals open bracket 20 into 45 close bracket plus open bracket 5 into 1000 close bracket plus open bracket 30 into 2 close bracket which equals rupees 5960 nominal gdp of the year 2015 can be similarly computed as equal to open bracket 30 into 50 close bracket plus open bracket 5 into 1200 close bracket plus open bracket 50 into 2.5 close bracket which equals rupees 7625 to calculate the real gdp for the year 2015 we will divide the quantity of items with their respective prices in the year 2014 table 1.4 gives an illustration of this. Table 1.4 Value of output in 2015 at 2014 prices. This table has three major columns which have further been subdivided into five columns. The first column represents the serial numbers. The second, the item. The third, fourth and fifth represent the quantity the 2014 price per unit in rupees and indicates the value of output. Let us now look at this row wise. Row 3, item apples. For the year 2015, quantity indicator 30, 2014 price per unit rupees 45 and value of output 1350. Row 4, for computers, quantity 5, 2014 price per unit in rupees 1000, value of output 5000. Row 5, item pencils, quantity 50, 2014 price per unit rupees 2, value of output 100. And therefore, for the item in the last row, the sum is indicated by the last row, last column as 6450. Therefore, real GDP for the year 2015 with respect to prices of the year 2014 equals open bracket 30 into 45 close bracket plus open bracket 5 into 1000 close bracket plus open bracket 50 into 2 close bracket which equals rupees 6,450. The ratio of nominal GDP to real GDP is known as the GDP deflator. This is an index of prices and denotes how prices have changed over time. In the above example, GDP deflator for the year 2015 equals nominal GDP of 2015 divided by real GDP of 2015 at 2014 prices which equals 7625 divided by 6450 which equals 1.18. This implies that the price of goods and services produced in the year 2015 was on an average 1.18 times the price in the year 2014. Thus, prices have increased by 18% from the year 2014 to 2015. Test your understanding. 1. In an economy, there is a tailor who produces output worth rupees 2000 using cloth of rupees 500 and pays labor wages for rupees 400. What is the value of the final output? The answer to this question is rupees 1100. 2. What is the difference between nominal and real GDP? What is the implication 
of a GDP deflator. Module one ends here. Happy listening. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh. Production assistant Jagbandhu Jana. Sound recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan. Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja. Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India. Music